I knew I was missing something. My other earpiece. It was me. I tossed it on my nightstand and didn't put it in my thing. I get it. Real quick before you start. I know I already did. No, go oh. ahead. Never mind. What? <laughs> okay. Never mind. Never mind. It's food fresh. Oh, okay. Top of the day, beautiful people. Top of the day. It is Thursday, December the 5th, 2019, day 11, year 2. We are in Genesis 31, 32, and 33. All right, let's get started here. Straight away. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he needed another bowl because that's what he pulled out and it slipped while he was closing it and uh, it broke. Yeah. That, no, I, I just swept it up. <clears throat> Okay, Tiffany, hey girl, hey. All right, y'all, Genesis chapter 31. And he heard the words of Laban's son, saying, Jacob hath taken away all that was our father's, and of that which was our father's hath he gotten all this glory. And Jacob beheld the countenance of Laban, and behold, it was not toward him as before. He got jealous. And Yahuwah said unto Jacob, Return unto the land of thy fathers and unto thy kindred, and I will be with thee. And Jacob sent and called Rachel and Leah to the field unto his flock, and said unto them, I see your father's countenance, that it is not towards me as before, but the God of my father hath been with me. And ye know that with all my power I have served your, served your father, and your father hath deceived me and changed my wages ten times, but Yahuwah suffered him not to hurt me. If he said thus, the speckle shall be thy wages, then all the cattle bear speckle. And if he said thus, the ring straight shall be thy hire, then bear all the cattle ring straight. <laughs> thus, you who have taken away the cattle of your father and have given them to me. And it came to pass at the time that thy cattle conceived that I lifted up my eyes and saw in a dream. And behold, the rams which leaped upon the cattle were ring straight, speckled, and grizzled. And the angel of Yahuwah spoke spoken to me in a dream, saying, Jacob. And I said, Here am I. And he said, Lift up now thine eyes, and see the rams which leap upon the cattle are ring straight, speckled, and grizzled. For I have seen all that Laban doeth unto thee. I am the God of Bethel, where thou anointest the pillar, and where thou vows a vow unto me. Now arise, get thee out from this land, and return unto the land of thy kindred. And Rachel and Leah answered and said unto him, is there yet any portion or inheritance for us in our father's house? Are we not counted of him as strangers? For he hath sold us and hath quite devoured also our money. Meaning, there was like, look, we with you because our husband, after he sold us to you, he spent everything that he got for us. For all the riches which you who have taken from our father, that is ours and our children, now then, Hold on. For all the riches which Yahuwah have taken from our father, that is ours and our children's. Now then, whatsoever Yahuwah has said unto thee, do. Then Jacob rose and set his sons and his wives upon camels. And he carried away all his cattle and all his goods which he had gotten, and the cattle of his getting which he had gotten, and paid an Aram for to go to Isaac his father in the land of Canaan. And Laban went to shear his sheep, and Rachel had stolen the images that were her father's. And Jacob stole away unawares to Laban, the Syrian, and that he told him that he had not fled. So he fled with all that he had, and he rose up and passed over the river and set his face toward Mount Gilead. And it was told Laban on the third day that Jacob was fled, and he took his brethren with him and pursued after him seven days' journey, and they overtook him in the Mount Gilead. And Yahuwah came to Laban the Syrian in a dream by night, and said unto him, Take heed that thou not that thou speak not to Jacob either good or bad. Then Laban overtook Jacob. Now Jacob had pitched his tent in the mount, and Laban with his brethren pitched the tent in the Mount of Gilead. And Laban said to Jacob, What hast thou done, that thou hast stolen away unawares to me, and carried my daughters as captives, taken with the sword? Wherefore did thou flee away secretly, and steal away from me, and did not tell me that I might send thee away with mirth, and with songs, and with tabard, and with heart? He said, Why didn't you tell me? And this could have been a joyous occasion. You ain't had to leave in the middle of the night. I would have sent you away. We would have had a big feast, and I would have sent you away in joy. But not only did you leave and steal my daughters, you stole my idols too. And now, though thou wouldest needs be gone, because thou sore longest after thy father's house, yet wherefore hast thou stolen my gods? 
And Jacob answered and said to Laban, Because I was afraid, for I said, Peradventure thou wouldest take by force thy daughters from me. With whomsoever thou findest thy gods, let him not live. Remember what Jacob is saying, right? <clears throat> I'll read that again. And hold on. <clears throat> Verse 32. With whomsoever thou findest thy gods, let him not live. Before our brethren discern thou what is thine and mine, and take it to thee. For Jacob knew not that Rachel had stolen them. Mm. So from his own words, they come in for Rachel, his wife, the one he loves. And Laban went <clears throat> into Jacob's tent and into Leah's tent and went into the two maidservants' tent, but he found them not. Then he went out of Leah's tent and entered into Rachel's tent. Now Rachel had taken the images and put them in the camel's furniture and sat upon them. And Laban searched all the tent, but found them not. And she said to her father, let it not displease my Lord that I cannot rise up before thee, for the custom of woman is upon me. Meaning, she said, I have my period. So, you know, and they were extra careful. And they were like, oh, yeah, okay, you go ahead and sit there, daughter. You know, and he didn't think, he maybe he had thought to check it, but she was already sitting on it, so it would have been considered defiled, you know, because she was on her period. And he searched, but found not the images. And Jacob was wroth, and he chode with Laban. And Jacob answered and said unto Laban, what is my trespass? What is my sin that thou hast so hotly pursued after me? Whereas thou hast searched all my stuff, what hast thou found of thy household stuff? Set it here before my brethren and thy brethren, that they may judge between the both of us. This twenty years I have been with thee, thy ewes and thy she-goats have not cast their young, and the rams of the flocks have I not eaten. That which is torn of beasts I brought not unto thee, I bear the loss of it, and my hand didst thou require it whether stolen by day or by night. Thus I was in the day drought thus I was in the day the drought consuming, and the frost by night and my sleep departed from my eyes. Thus have I been twenty years in thy house. I served thee fourteen years for thy two daughters, and six years for thy cattle that thou had and thou hast changed my wages ten times. Except the God of my father, the God of Abraham and the fear of Isaac had been with me. Surely thou hast sent me away now empty. You who have seen my affliction and the labor of my hands and have rebuked thee yesternight. And Laban answered and said unto Jacob, These daughters are my daughters, and these children are my children. And these, are, these cattle are my cattle, and all that thou seest is mine. And what can I do this day unto these my daughters or unto their children which they have borne? Now therefore... Come thou, let us make a covenant, I and thou, and let it be for a witness between me and thee. And Jacob took a stone and set it up for a pillar. And Jacob said unto his brethren, Gather stones, and they took stones and made a heap, and they did eat there upon the heap. And Laban called it Jigar Sahadutha, but Jacob called it Galil. And Laban said, This heap is a witness between me and thee this day. Therefore was the name of it called Galil. And Mizpah for he said, Yahuwah watches between me and thee when we are absent from one another. If thou shalt afflict my daughters, or if thou shalt take thee otherwise besides my daughters, no man is with us. And see, Yahuwah is witness between me and you. And Laban said to Jacob, Behold this heap, and behold this pillar which I have cast between me and thee. This heap be witness, and the pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and that thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. And the God of Abraham and of the God of Nahor, the God of their father, judge between us. And Jacob swore by the fear of his father Isaac. And then Jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount and called his brethren to eat bread. And they did eat bread and tarried all night in the mount. Remember, they sacrificed and they ate. Make sure you pay attention to that, you know, because when we hear it, I brought this out many times, we get a whole another thought here in um the western world you know we think they're all completely slaughtering and what do you do after the slaughter nobody thinks that far ahead is always oh, sacrificing no no they were literally butchers they cut up the meat 
appropriately according to how you who commanded them to so you wouldn't eat the fat you wouldn't drink the blood you know people still doing that today i literally watched a recent documentary here in 2019 and people are still slaughtering the animals not just for the meat but they, they literally they were cutting the fat they was like hmm, what? he was like then it was a guy that was traveling it's on the travel channel and they was actually said what is it say oh this is the fat he said eat that <laughs> and i'm like i'm like don't do it don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And he said, you know, because he tried. I was like, oh, you nasty. Blah. He, they, they say he just rolled up and eat. I'm like, oh, I'm like gagging, watching it. And not only that, the most disgusting part was after they cut the goat's neck and they drained the blood into this basin, they put it on the fire and they start mixing up. I said, no, they're not. 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 And I'm doing like this. I was like, oh, no, they're not. They're not. No, they're not. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. I said, and they're black. They're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. Man, they did it. It was so disgusting. I mean, they took the warmed up blood and they and they passing the bowl around, sipping it. They was like, oh, yes, this is for iron. I was like, you nasty such and such. I was like, that is disgusting. Oh, gosh. Like, I'm like, it. it is. It is a disgusting thing. I darn near puked watching the travel channel and the mm, just don't do it people Ugh. don't do it don't do it i'm gonna leave that there okay uh 54 then jacob offered sacrifice upon the mount and called his brethren to eat bread and they did eat bread and tarried all night in the mount and early in the morning laban rose up and kissed his sons and his daughters and blessed them and laban departed and returned to his place chapter 32 of genesis and Jacob went on his way, and the angels of Yahuwah met him. And when Jacob saw them, he said, This is God's host. And he called the name of that place Mahanaim. And Jacob sent messengers before him to Esau, his brother, unto the land of Seir, the country of Edom. And he commanded them, saying, Thus shall ye speak unto my lord Esau, thy servant. Jacob said thus, I have sojourned with Laban and stayed there unto now. And I have oxen and asses, flocks and men servants and women servants and i have sent to tell my lord that i may find grace in his sight and the messengers returned to jacob saying we came to thy brother esau and also he hath come to meet thee and four hundred men with him and then jacob was greatly afraid and distressed and he divided the people that was with him and the flocks and herds and camels into two bands and said if esau come to the one company and smite it then the other company which is left shall escape and jacob said "O oh god of my father abraham the god of my father isaac the lord which saith unto me return unto thy country and to thy kindred and i will deal well with thee i am not worthy of the least of all thy mercies and of all thy truth which thou hast shown unto thy servant for with my staff I passed over this Jordan, and now I am become two bands. Deliver me, I pray thee, from the hand of my brother, from the hand of Esau, for I fear him. Least he will come and smite me and the mother with the children. And thou sayest, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed as the seed of the seed as the sand of the sea which cannot be numbered for multitude and he lodged there the same night and took of that which came to his hand a present for esau his brother two hundred she goats and twenty he goats two hundred ewes and twenty rams thirty milk camels and their coats forty kine and ten bulls twenty she asses and ten fowls and he delivered them into the hand of his servants every drove by themselves and he said unto his servants pass over before me and put a space betwixt drove and drove and he commanded the foremost saying when esau my brother meeteth thee and asked thee saying whose art thou and whither thou goest and whose are these before thee then thou shalt say be thy servant ja they be thy servant jacob's and it is a present sent unto my lord esau and behold he is also behind us and so commanded he the second and the third and all that followed the drove saying on this manner shall you speak unto esau when you find him and say ye moreover, behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us. For he said, I will appease him with the present that goeth before me, and afterward I will see his face. Peradventure adventure he will accept of me. So we went to the present. So, I'm sorry. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the fort Jabbok. And he said to them, and sent them over the brook, and sent over that he had.
And Jacob was left alone, and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day. And when he saw that he prevailed not against them, he touched the hollow of his thigh, and the hollow of Jacob's thigh was out of joint as he wrestled with him. And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince thou hast power with Yahuwah and with men hast thou prevailed. And Jacob asked him and said, Tell me, I pray thee thy name. And he said, Wherefore is it that thou dost ask after my name? And he blessed him there. And Jacob called the name of that place Peniel, for I have seen the I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. And he passed over Penuel. As he passed over Penuel, the sun arose upon him, and he halted upon his thigh. Therefore the children of Israel eat not the sinew which shrank, which is upon the hollow of the thigh unto this day, because he touched the hollow of Jacob's thigh in the sinew that shrank. All right, y'all, last chapter for the day, Genesis chapter 33. It's a short chapter, too. And Jacob <clears throat> lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau came, and with him four hundred men, and he divided the children unto Leah and unto Rachel and unto the two handmaids. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah and her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. How do I like, wait a minute, hold on. First of all, you need to put us in the back. <laughs> he trying to put the wives that he loved the least in the front and the one he loved most towards the back. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm taking issue with the setup here, Jacob. Israel. Is that your new name? I'm taking issue with this whole setup, how you lining us up here. You, you last you words you saw, the last words you heard your brother say is he wanted to kill you. You want us to go first and you chance to get away? I would have took major issue with Jacob at this point. And so, I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm just... I don't know what's wrong with these women. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> I'm out there fighting. Hold on. <clears throat> okay. The household is loud. Everybody get themselves together. And he put the handmaids and their children foremost, and Leah her children after, and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. And he passed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. And Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell upon his neck and kissed him, and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children and said, Who are these with thee? And he said, The children with who have graciously given thy servant. And then the handmaidens came near, they and their children, they bowed themselves. And Leah also with her children came near and bowed themselves. And neither Joseph came near, and Rachel, they bowed themselves. And he said, What meanest thou by all this drove which I met? And he said, These are to find grace in the sight of my Lord. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. <clears throat> Keep what thou hast unto thyself. And Jacob said, Nay, I pray thee, if now I have found grace in thy sight, then receive my present at my hand. For therefore I have seen thy face, as though I had seen the face of God, and thou was pleased with me. Take, I pray thee, my blessing that is brought to thee, because God hath dealt graciously with me, and because I have enough. And he urged him, and he took it. And he said, Let us take our journey, let us go, <clears throat> and I will go before thee. And he said unto him, My Lord knoweth that the children are tender, and the flocks and the herds, with young are with me, and if the man should overdrive them one day, all the flock would die. My Lord, I pray thee, pass over before your servant, and I will lead on softly according as the cattle that goeth before me, and the children be able to endure until I come unto my Lord and see her. Amen. Trying to make the bacon. Mm -hmm. Somebody got to bring the cow home. Mm-hmm. You shopping up your, uh, your, um, mm. I was trying to flow with your cow All right, analogy. Right, right, right. <laughs> I was trying to think of some kind of butchering tool. <laughs> well, you want to be Pacific, you know what I'm saying? You are my butchering tool. You know hey. I mean? So, that was me. Okay. All right, I'll talk to you. All right, babe. All right. <clears throat> okay. All right, yeah, I'm about done. Okay. And he said, hold on. Okay, until I come into my Lord and see you on verse 15. So <laughs> it definitely must be a lag in the video. <laughs> and Esau said, let me now leave thee with some of the folk that are with me. And he said, what needeth it? 
Let me find grace in the sight of my Lord. So Esau returned that day on his way to Seir, and Jacob journeyed to Sukkoth and built him a house and made booths for his cattle. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, the name of the place is called Sukkoth. And Jacob came to Shalem, a city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, where he came from Padah and Aram and pitched his tent before the city. And he bought a parcel of a field where he had spread his tent at the hand of the children of Hamar, Shechem's father, and four hundred pieces of money. They, and he erected there an altar and called it El Elohi Israel. Did I say that right? L L O H yeah L L mm, it broke they broke it up in my Bible L L O H Israel okay y'all and that's our reading for today that was Genesis thirty one thirty two and thirty three it is Thursday December the fifth twenty nineteen day eleven year two I hope you enjoyed the reading if you missed it just go back to the beginning or read it on your own time or listen to it on your own time y'all so we got to get out of here today so may you who bless us and keep us may you who make his face to shine upon us and let his countenance upon us and be gracious unto us in our households and may he give us his shalom or his peace his wholeness and all that concerns us he promises to keep us as we keep his command so with that being said beautiful people i love you all and i will see you in the morning